Welcome to this brief video on traditional Chinese herbal medicine. So how are herbs prescribed in Chinese medicine? At the outset, it should be said that Chinese herbal medicine is formula-based. This means that multiple herbs are used in combination, and they are then administered to the patient, most often in the form of a decoction. The doctor examines the patient, asking about symptoms and looking at physical signs, observing the patient's tongue and taking their pulse. This will be the basis for a diagnosis. The diagnosis will suggest a general syndrome or pattern. The syndrome in this case is an explanation of the illness as seen by traditional Chinese medicine. The syndrome will in turn indicate a prescription that will be based on a formula. Over the ages, certain formulas have been found to successfully deal with specific syndromes. The prescription will be based on one of these formulas. If the doctor determines that certain actions need to be emphasized, additional herbs may be added to the prescription. The following example will illustrate this methodology. A 30-year-old woman comes in complaining of severe menstrual cramps. According to TCM Diagnostics, the signs and symptoms she is displaying are as follows. She has a pale face and pale lips, painful and irregular menstruation. She feels restless and has trouble falling asleep. Her tongue is pale. Her pulse is thin, tight and slow. To decide on the formula to be used, the doctor has to determine a basic general syndrome. These signs and symptoms may be interpreted by a TCM doctor as being caused by blood deficiency and stagnation syndrome. Note that the properties of blood are seen a little differently in traditional Chinese medicine than in Western medicine, and we will look at how TCM considers blood in more detail in a future video. As far as we are concerned, this diagnosis allows us to determine a syndrome and consequently a formula that may be used to treat the patient. So the formula needs to nourish and regulate the blood. It should also regulate the menstruation and move the blood stagnation. In traditional Chinese medicine, the syndrome of blood deficiency and stagnation is often treated by a formula called Si Wu Tang. This formula consists of four herbs Tang Gui, Shu Di Huang, Bai Shao, Tuan Xiong. Don't be concerned with the names of these herbs at this stage. We will introduce them in more detail in a future video. This formula has been very beneficial for women in China throughout the ages. On the basis of this examination, the doctor might then decide that the blood stagnation is severe and that further herbs are required to move the blood. Certain herb combinations are known to act efficiently and these are called paired herbs. Paired herbs are two complementary herbs that work well together usually by reinforcing a specific action. To deal with the blood stagnation, we need a herb combination that is good at moving the blood. From past experience, a good combination for this purpose would be Taoren and Honghua. The doctor may also decide to prescribe additional herbs that have beneficial actions for insomnia and menstruation. In this case, the doctor might add Tanshan and Pu Huang, in summary, we have a prescription that addresses the mechanism of the root problem, plus additional herbs to ease the current symptoms. The formula in this case is Si Wu Tang, which consists of four herbs, Tang Gui, Shu Di Huang, Bai Shao, Chuan Xiong. To this we add the paired herbs Tao Ren and Hong Hua to help move the blood. We also add the individual herbs Dan Shen and Pu Huang to help deal with the current signs and symptoms. We end up with a prescription of eight herbs altogether. I have often seen prescriptions of more than 15 herbs, which may be somewhat excessive. Some Chinese patients feel that more herbs in the prescription will have a stronger effect, and so some doctors oblige their patients in this way. But adding more herbs does not necessarily imply improved treatment. From this, 
we see that we need to understand how traditional Chinese medicine views the body. This will help us to understand TCM diagnosis and then the various syndromes. We also need to understand the formulas which are associated with these syndromes and the logic behind these formulas. To understand the formulas, we first need to study the individual herbs and their properties. Thank you for watching this video on how Chinese herbs are prescribed. I hope you'll join me for further videos in this series.